Welcome to the ICT International MFR and S-Node configuration tutorial. Registering an application on TTN. Enter an ID and description. The ID must be all lowercase. The ID and description are to help you identify your node, so set them to whatever you'd like. Select a handler. Handlers in locations near your installation have less latency, so you'll get your data faster. To save data, you'll need to create an integration. The simplest is the data storage integration. Once you create it, it'll start storing data. No further configuration is necessary. Next, add a decoder. These are supplied by ICT International. An example is also available in the manual for the MFR node and S node. Add a device. Set the ID to whatever you'd like. Again, it must be all lowercase. Auto-generate the device EUI, app key and app EUI. Next we need to connect to the node. Plug it into your computer using a standard micro USB cable. The node will connect as a COM port. Locate it in the device manager and then connect to the COM port using a terminal emulator. In this video we're using PuTTY. To configure the node, enter the EUIs from the Things Network using the LoRa EUI Dev, LoRa EUI App, and LoRa Key App commands, respectively. Next, set an upload interval using the Report Period command. Here we set it to 15 minutes. 900 seconds. To enable SD card logging on the MFR node, enter the command SD space enable space 1. To enable the analog channels on the MFR node, use the command ADC space CH space config, followed by the channel definitions. Capital S indicates a single ended channel, capital D indicates a differential channel and capital O sets a channel to off. Note that only channels 1 and 3 can be set to differential and channels 2 and 4 must be turned off when these are used as they're used as the other half of the differential pair. Analog excitation is set with jumpers on the board. 12 volts, 5 volts and 3.3 volts excitations are available. To enable logging and uploading of the digital pulse inputs use the command counter space enable space 1. No further configuration is necessary for digital inputs. To test the ADC channels, use the command ADC space single space test. The values of each channel will be listed in microvolts. To turn on adaptive data rate, use the command LoRa space net space ADR space 1. LoRa space net space ADR space 0 turns adaptive data rate off. To turn off confirm messaging, use the command LoRa space confirmed space zero. The MFR node and S node can send any SDI 12 command. Here we query the SDI 12 bus for the sensor address. To add an SDI 12 measurement, use the command SDI 12 space add. For a result measurement with three results, use the following command SCI 12 space add space 0 space D space 1 R 0 exclamation mark space 1 1 1 this adds the command 1 R 0 to the STI 12 command slot 0 to activate the STI 12 command enter STI 12 space activate space 0 space 1 to enable uploads, we also need to enter the command enable space 1. Finally, enter the command save to save the configuration to the node. We can now unplug the node from the computer and connect the battery. The node will activate on the Things Network and send through data.